Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to tell, teach you guys how to download the software for the Newman GM610 wireless Bluetooth keyboard. I have seen a lot of comments about this, and I think the number one most common thing about this keyboard is the software. Some people have had this keyboard for so long and just gave up on it. Let me tell you, it seems hard, but it's just more complicated than it needs to be. As good as this keyboard is, as good as the build quality is, I have no complaints on this keyboard, but the software is just poorly made. They just, I don't think they really cared how they made it, but I'm going to teach you guys a simple way how to download it. So what you're going to do is you're going to look up on Google, Newman Tech, whoops, Newman Tech. You're going to choose the first one here with an E, not the A. I've clicked on the A and that doesn't work. So Newman Tech with an E. As you can see, when you go into the website, you're going to see the Newman GM610, the image of it right there. You're going to want to go to the top here and click Services. Now you're here. If you have any other products for Newman, go right here. you got everything here. But what you're going to do is you want to click Game Keyboard. There we go. And if you have the 7-Eleven, don't do that. If you have the 610, which you're probably here for, you're going to want to click Download. Now, I have a file made for this. One thing I want to point out is that what how it saves. It's going to save as a RAR file. A RAR file is a file that Windows on itself cannot open and not run by itself. What you're going to do is you're going to need to download an external application. I will show you the best one to download. So we're going to download that. As you can see here, Dart RAR. Dot, dart, dot RAR. Can't speak. Not bad. So the best way to open these type of files is WinRAR. It's very reliable. You won't get a virus, trust me. I think most people that have Windows knows what this is. But it's like zipping files, compressing, it's all that stuff. It's pretty reliable. So what you're going to do here is when you go on to the WinRAR website, you're going to want to click Download WinRAR. And you're going to click Download WinRAR. I already have this downloaded, so I'm, I can't download it. As you can see here, it pops up. So you don't need to enter your email or anything. It will just pop up. So, and you can see here, it stays in an application file, different than the RAR file, right? Now, I already have this downloaded, so I'm not going to reinstall it with you guys. But, as you can see here, the steps are right here. It's super easy. Five steps. You're going to click the file. That will be right here. You're going to click Yes to if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. You're going to click Install with the folder you want it to go to. And then you're going to choose RAR. You have to choose RAR or else you won't be able to open these type of files. Click OK. And then you just click Done. Simple as that, it's super easy, trust me. And once you do it, this is what you're gonna see. So you go to your, your wherever your Newman GM610 is. It's as you can see, WinRAR Archive. You should see the WinRAR icon right there. You're gonna double click it, and WinRAR opens. Simple as that, it just shows you what's in the file. Now, with the GM610 download software, software download, you're gonna want to choose this one, the application. It should have this icon. So, you want to double click it, and then this will pop up. Click yes, and this is the setup just English, whatever language you speak. Go for it. Here we go. So, welcome to the Newman GM610 setup window. Next, choose wherever you want to download it. I'm going to download this file here. You want to set up a shortcut for the start menu. I'm going to do that. You don't have to, and as you can see here, that's all you got to know. And you click install. Simple as that. And if you want to, you run it now. I'm going to click finish and run. There we go. Simple as that. But remember, you need to be in wired mode. Right now, I have my keyboard plugged into the computer in wired mode. And if you don't know how to do that, go to my previous video, one of my previous videos that I have made on my channel, and it will tell you how to do that. Simple. So I hope that you found this video informative. Because I understand that this software is just not great. If, so, if this does not work for you, please leave a comment. I will try to answer any questions you have. I will link this Newman Tech link. And I will link WinRAR download, both of them. And I will even link the Amazon for the keyboard. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. Leave a like, subscribe. Thank you for watching.